Hey guys, what's up? Zyphlin here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to kill the reworked jackal. I've been seeing a lot of comments on my beginner guide videos of people basically just struggling to kill the reworked jackal. You know, they watch the videos, they see the old jackal, and they're like, wow, this boss is so much different to the video. How do I go about killing this thing? And the main complaint is actually to do with the, um, the spinning laser attack whenever you destroy one of the jackal's legs so i'm just gonna go through and show you guys how i would go about doing it as a newer player because um it mainly comes down to your ability to parkour and stuff like that like we're not going to be using any fancy mods or abilities or anything in this video so i've got my excalibur with a unranked vitality on here that's all i'm going to use and then i'm also using a regular paris with just an unranked serration mod so uh, vitality is a health mod for those of you who are new and serration is basically just a damage mod and they give you very minimal bonuses because they are level zero right it's the base uh, version of those mods so uh with all that being said let's just go ahead jump in and kill the jackal so boss is a lot cooler now uh it's a much better first impression to the game i would say like you've got this cool cinematic scene with the pars on and stuff like that and uh of course the talus that is a lot better and the music the ambience is a lot better as well and then the narrative is uh is kind of cool as well so you know what i'm actually gonna go ahead and turn on the narrative just so you guys can have it here if um you know there you go there's the lotus talking if you haven't uh played warframe before and this might be your first time watching it you know because you do have people who just browse youtube watch random stuff this might be their first time watching warframe and you know first impressions matter so these bad guys are called the corpus again for those of you guys who are new they're uh i like to call them box head boys because you have to shoot the boxes off their head so you can headshot them so this is the lotus Explaining the Parazon, which is your Assassin's Creed ripoff, the, the hidden blade. Alright. So use your Parazon. So that's gonna be uh, signaled to us by like a little red marker above the Jackal's head. Whenever we destroy one of his legs, that's basically what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be aiming for his legs. And then once we destroy his leg, he's going to do an attack, then he's going to fall down. And then that's whenever we go into uh, strike with the Parazon. So, uh, here we go. I expected it to be bigger. That's what she said. So this is the reworked Jackal. This boss used to be a lot different, a lot easier. So all you have to do, guys, is shoot his leg with the regular Paris. It should only take two hits per leg, so he does the spinning attack, and this is what most people struggle with. So for these starting stages, you can just stand behind these pillars, right? And then that's all you have to do. But um, he will destroy those pillars, as you can see. So you can go ahead and um, wall cling to them as well. And there's that little Parazon emblem right there. Walk up to him, press the interact button, and you're gonna stab him like so. So if there's cover, use the cover. If not, then you wanna jump over it. And to jump over it, what you wanna do is crouch and then look up or down and then press the jump button. And that's gonna propel you up in the air regardless if you're looking up or down. So check it out, I look down, I go up, I look up, I go up. So you have to crouch and then press space while looking up or down. And that's going to bullet jump you into the air. So again, we just want to go ahead and destroy his leg. It should take two shots if my aim wasn't bad today. That would be great. Oh, third shot. Didn't deal enough damage with that one. There we go. Maybe not. Or is this the one that we already destroyed? I think we already destroyed that one. There you go. So he's going up in the air. Remember, stand behind the pillar. Whenever it's blue, it doesn't damage you. Whenever it's red, it does. So I like to just preemptively jump in the air. Make sure to slide before you touch the ground so you don't like uh, go into like a little staggered animation. You can just keep on jumping up. So there you go, he's staggered, go up to him, interact with him. Stab him, easy. And then we want to do that two more times. He's got the electric up in the field this time. There's one more pillar here. I'm gonna play around this just because. If you're using a weapon like the Paris, it's got punch through, so you can shoot through his other legs. So just keep that in mind as well. 
but um this boss is really just a, just a test of your movement really so stay up in the air you can aim glide as well to keep yourself in the air if you feel like you're gonna fall down too early aim glide a little bit there back up in the air and it's gonna fall down anytime now three two one there you go and you walk up interact stab him in the eye and we do it one more time and then that'll be the jackal done dead and done so it's the back right leg or his back left leg i suppose that is okay doing a wee 360 there if i can hit him that would be fantastic no you can use your abilities right so if i use radio blind does that stun him uh he doesn't seem to be seem to be stunned if there's any moas around you i'm not sure if moas can spawn in the second stage but you can definitely use your radio blind in the first stage to crowd control some of those moas that are around you that might have followed you into the boss room so again we're just hitting the ground with our slide looking up in the air to avoid his lasers whenever it's blue it doesn't damage you but you want to avoid the electric that's on the field as well he slams down and you just go ahead stab him one more time and then that's it that's the jackal dead and then sometimes you're gonna get this here guy who spawns in at the end i would recommend just uh if you could find him stun him with your two bring out your four and just spam you on him and then pick up whatever he drops and then that'll be that so after that whenever you get to the exit i meant to roll through that you're gonna get a part for the warfare called rhino this isn't like a how to farm rhino video but it might as well double as one but uh yeah we walk into our exit get the rhino systems which is the rarest part to get we got really lucky and that's how you defeat the the rework jackal so or the updated jackal i guess i'll title the video how to defeat the updated jackal but uh yeah it's pretty easy for those of you who were struggling i hope this video helped you out because you know like i said that entire fight is just a test of your your movement capabilities and how well you know the parkour system if you want to practice parkour a little bit more you can come into the codex you can go to training you can go to um advanced movement and there is a tutorial that you can do and uh, you can just sort of run through this and then you can you can practice your parkour freely so, so just just to reiterate so I'm just going to go ahead and mute the Lotus here real fast. Uh, speech volume, transmissions, Ortis, confirm. So to reiterate, uh, if you look at the floor, crouch, space bar, you're going to bullet jump in the air, crouch, look up the way, space bar, you're going to, uh, you know, propel yourself up in the air as well. So that's a bullet jump and uh, you propel yourself just a little bit higher if you look in the air, right? So you can cross this gap by looking up in the air and then aim gliding climb up the wall because that's what we have to do and then you can probably cross this gap as well so sprint roll slide aim glide and there you go that's how you cross a big distance so um movement is pretty important in warframe the better you are at movement the quicker you get things done and uh the more fluid the game feels so anyway guys Thank you for watching this video on how to defeat the rework jackal. If you enjoyed it and if you learned something, hit the like button below. If you want to see more Warframe content from me, hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.